Hello and welcome to Escape from Norwood. If you would like to check out the game, then there is a link in the description. And we're just going to dive right in. Lesia, Lesia, wake up, sweetheart. Dad says the Alix Sentry is coming for you. More urgently, he must have heard about your magic. You need to hide. He then concludes, I will try to delay him. Go home quickly. Dad leaves in a hurry along Granary Street. Fear chases the remnants of drowsiness from your nap along the river. Now to get home. All right. So do I? Do I actually? Do I actually move? That's the thing. I have no idea how to play this. Ah, there we go. Here we are. Uh, you suddenly hear someone shouting further down the street. Candlemaker, an ironic occupation for you. A hard. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, where do we have to go? Go home quickly. I don't know. You should rather go home along Granary Street. Ah, okay. There we go. Dad is waving at you from the door of the candle shop. Apparently, he sidelined the sentry somehow. Home and safety are south. This is where you should go. For some reason, you can't reach Granary Street. Okay. Ah, okay, wait a minute. So should I go into the candle shop? Home at last. As your breathing slows, you take more time to study the familiar surroundings. Dad asks, he may come here. We need to hide you in the back room. Where have I put the key? Dad scratches his chin in puzzlement. Okay, so this is the shop and workshop. This place smells of tallow and aura of timeless peace floats between its old walls. The wares of the shop are presented on assorted racks. Dad is here, panic-stricken. Okay, so we can now obviously go into the private floor if we want to. Let's do that. Okay, so let's go into Dad's room or Lesia's bedroom. Hide you in the back room. We should go in here. A child's bed is the only thing. There are wooden shoes available here. I guess I should take those and a short tunic. Right, okay. What about in here? In Dad's room. A chest. Okay, let's open the chest. It has a dark iron key. We should get the dark iron key just in case. That sounds like a good idea. And then let's go on to the private floor. We can go into the window. Let's not go into the window. I don't think that's a particularly good idea. We can, however, open the back room now with the key that we just got. At least I think so. Um, yes, there we go. Dad exclaims, well done. Now let's hide you. Dad leaves south in a hurry. Dad exclaims, he's almost here. Help! Uh, quick, help me with the carpet. All right, a carpet covers the ground. Let's push it. There we go. An exit suddenly appears down. Okay, so, uh, hidden room. There we are. Let's go into the hidden room. Dad shouts, hold on, I'm closing the trap door. The up exit suddenly disappears. As your eyes slowly adjust to the dark, the sound of boots draws closer. Soon enough, you hear a brutish knock on the door. You hear muffled voices, one of which is Dad's. The voices heat, and your leg begins to cramp. A shout, a crack, a punch, and the boots overhead. A raucous voice calls, she must be hidden here, I will find her. The trapdoor suddenly bursts open. As the face of the sentry appears in the dim light, your mind unlocks the talent you are struggling to control, and here it is. You blend into the surroundings, disappearing from view. After a few minutes, the sentry's head disappears and you hear a disgruntled sound. I don't know where you hid her, but the Empress's progress will be here soon, and no you know she always brings seekers. Prepare to say goodbye, traitor. The boots walk away into the street and you hear the front door closing. Okay, here we go. So there's a diary entry now. Thanks to Dad and my magic, I avoided capture by the sentry. Okay, that, that that's pretty good. That, that was fine, right? I think that was that was quite nice. But yes. Um, so they've left now, I assume. I don't have much energy left. Uh, no, I should probably... Can I... Oh, okay, okay. Let's, let's move back into the... Back into the room here. Dad is here, relieved but tense. Okay, so that's good. Two barrels of tallow always were your favorite hiding spots. Okay, so <laughs> I could have gone in there, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, the lean face you've known all your life is now marked by profound worry. It pains you to see him that way. He is wearing a linen shirt and brown trousers. Let's talk to him. There we go. Um, how did he know about me? Why did he call you Ahad? I'm going to say, how did he know about me? Someone must have seen your black eyes and tipped the garrison off. The sentry sure knew where to find us. I was careful. Yet it takes but one second for someone to see the endless black wells that your eyes become when you weave the light. Why did he call you Ahad? Dad replies firmly, this is not something I am ready to talk to you about. Avoiding to look you in the eyes, making you feel uneasy. New diary entry, a traitor? The sentry called my dad Ahad and a traitor, but he won't talk. What's the story? I guess we're going to have to figure that out, aren't we? 
So where do we want to go? Do we want to exit? Do we really want to exit? Are you serious? Or shall we go, no, you know what? We should probably go upstairs and have, have a sleep, shouldn't we? Because it says you're slightly tired and hungry. It says slightly tired. Push. You try to push the bed but couldn't. It contains a book of families. Ah, oh, okay, so this gives us a little bit of information about our family here. All right, I'll take it. Not sure how effective that is, really. Um, a narrow window, old and creaking bed. Can I do anything here? No, I can't do anything here. A chest painted? No. Okay, we, so we've already done that. Right. Okay, so I guess we should leave. You should probably talk to Dad about what happened before rushing out. Well, I, I did do that, actually. Maybe I, maybe I missed something. Ah, here we go. What do we do now? Let's see what he says. Now we must flee. I have connections in the Sangriff Islands. Uh, islands, even. I was going to say Isles. Anyway, I will arrange safe passage. In the meantime, ask our friends in the neighborhood for supplies. The sentry will wait for the Empress's Seekers, so we have some time to finish packing. Yet to avoid the city watch, and since your veil shreds when you move, please stay off the Imperial Road. We have a new diary entry. And Dad gives you what little change he has, and holds you tightly for a few eternal seconds, and leaves for the harbor. We have two coins in our pocket now. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. While Dad arranges passage to the Sangriff Islands, I will seek supplies among our friends in the neighborhood. All right, that means I should leave. Let's go out onto Granary Street once again. As you enter the street, you suddenly realize what time it is and that you can make it pass faster. All right, well, let's actually move down here. Here we go. Uh, leather worker. We should probably go into the leather worker and say hello. There we go. Hagus is uh, sewing a new tunic. Okay, you were never too fond of Hagus's fleeing gaze, and neither was your dad. Looking at him work, you notice his knuckles are slightly inflated, and he winces while working. Gonna assume that he probably wants something to um, deal with that, maybe some kind of medicine or whatever, but who knows. My father asks if the supplies are ready. Almost, my dear, but he has not paid me any mark yet. Are you looking for the knapsack or the saddle? The knapsack? The, knack, the knapsack, 25 marks. Um, I meant the saddle. 40 marks. Okay, I'll pay 25 for the saddle. You don't have enough coins to buy that. Okay, we'll stop talking to him because he's an idiot. We're going to go out into the street and I'm going to actually have to see whether there's a, a, anything else to, to do here. Okay, what about this? Okay. Gleric, prime of his family, watches over his siblings. Or Valinia, hands on the shuttle, keeps a vigilant eye on the proceedings. Let's have a look. She regularly stops her work to confer with clients or keep track of the way the threads are used, or with a Dale's mind. A worried frown only leaves her when she focuses on her work. Okay, what about this fellow? We can actually talk to him. He is quite proud to belong to a family of four children and does not take his responsibilities lightly. That may explain why he looks just so disturbed right now. Okay, is anything wrong? Romeric is gone. We don't know where he went. Don't know why. It is so unlike him. Let me help you. It's nice of you. Feel free to look upstairs if you like. Okay, so there's a... Um, when, when did you see him last? Last night, we all went to bed. He was gone in the morning. Could you help us with supplies? I do have a hooded traveling cloak. Some merchant who wanted to move incognito never collected. I can part with it for 50 marks. Okay, was he supposed to go anywhere? Oh no, he is the fastest. Nothing can take him off his loom. Okay, well, I don't have enough money to be able to buy any of this stuff. So we're just going to go up into the room. And a Bastinian Shoth is sleeping on the bed. Another bunk bed lies by the window. Okay. It contains this. What's this? Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay, we should probably take that. That's a shield of some kind, I assume, or something like that, maybe? Anyway, the court makes art, or so the saying goes. The shoth are no exception, and you have often seen Bostinian sketching bold designs you had never seen before. He's wearing yellow clothes. Okay, there's nothing else for me to do here, unfortunately. I don't think, at least. Um, no, it doesn't seem like I can actually move this around as well, um, amazingly enough. So, wait, let's actually just have a look. The Shoth are panicked. Romeric disappeared overnight. Okay, how can I help? Well, not at all at the moment. Um, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to do something about that, I suppose. So, yeah, I'm feeling strong at the moment, so that's actually quite good. Let's go back out onto Tassic Street. And let's keep an eye out for him, okay? Let's keep an eye out for him. What about the teaching grounds? Okay, what do we have here? 
This place is full of memories, you don't know where to start. Fortunately, most of them are happy. The teacher's desk is stacked. Let's open it up. Does not allow you to open... Okay, wait, is he actually there? Oh, he is. Okay, that is hilarious. I literally just tried to open his desk right in front of him. All right, that's great. Okay, what about this? Mm, book on tattoos, history book, rhyming scroll. Just going to take some of this stuff. Uh, I'm just going to loot everything that I can. There we go. A rhyming... Sc the scroll is stuck to the shelves. No. Oh, that's terrible. What about a book on tattoos? There we go. That's kind of useful. Okay, so who's this? Uh, Loa is trying to learn something. Elmio is here to learn. He's a bit younger than us. And Olven is the fellow that we can talk to. He's been old for as long as you've known him, yet always liberal with his knowledge and wisdom. He is wearing a grey robe and carrying a teaching grounds key. I might very well need that key, so let's try to ask him for it, potentially. Good day to you, master. Hello, Lysia. Are you still seeking knowledge? I, re I regret I could uh, not go to the Asium. Dear old Oven, Olven, who never suspected what you could really do, nods. Had you shown any aptitude toward magic, you would have been brilliant. So yeah, he has no idea that we can actually use magic. And have you heard about missing children? I heard there were some in the harbor. I am worried for my wards. Romeric is missing too. This is more serious than I thought. I must report this at once. Can, can you keep an eye on the children for me? Okay, so apparently... He's gone, and now we have to keep an eye on the children. This is going to be interesting. However, I can now go and open his desk, because he's no longer there. So we now can get a piece of white paper, and I'm going to take it. And we can also get a fountain pen, and we're going to take that as well. You never know what could be useful, right? You never know. Okay, so the scroll is still stuck. That's absolutely fine. And, um, yeah, so we don't have to worry about either of these people. They're just relaxing. Ah, he's coming back in. Okay, whew, that was close. So, obviously, the game runs at real time, basically, right? It runs in, in real time, and you can pause it anytime by pressing on the little uh, pause icon there. And you can also make it run faster if you so desire. So, that's good to know. Anyway, here we go. He's here again. Um... I can't teach to him. I, I can't teach to him. Uh, yes, I can't teach to him, but I can talk to him. Or I would have wanted to talk to him, but I can't. So what about this key? No, that's not going to do anything right now. All right, so we can basically leave now. We got what we wanted from that. We got the, the paper and the, the pen. You never know when that's going to be kind of useful. We should probably use these wooden shoes. Use the shoes on? Oh, okay, apparently... <laughs> Don't need to do that. All right. This vast hall opens up on three smaller rooms. Looking at the freshly gilded walls, you are reminded of your awe the few times you accompanied your father for the guild's yearly celebrations after the building was finished. A set of statues represent the main trades, each in their own design. All right. The assorted statues. Unsurprisingly, the carpenter is carved wood, the blacksmith cast bronze, and the stonemason rises from a block of marble. Can you push them? No. We cannot push them, unfortunately. So, yeah, there's nothing actually around here. Oh, maybe there is, actually. Dining hall. This hall is long and narrow, the roof borne by gilded pillars. A giant fireplace fills the whole southern wall. It's it's burning, of course. And a long table lined with chairs fills the center. So what does this do? You know, we can push it. I'm not really going to do much. Can push that. Let's not. <laughs> that would not be a good idea. Hall of Deeds. This has a bookshelf. Aha, uh -huh, a blacksmith register. Mm, probably a good idea for me to take that, just in case. And we've got the meeting hall over here. Mm-hmm. The largest room serves as a meeting place for the various gatherings of the craftspeople. Several tables along the walls of the hall allow the various cores to convene. A map of Norwood has been posted on a wooden sign in the middle of the hall. I should probably take the map. I'd like to take the map personally, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to. Yeah, as you can see, I can't push it, can't do anything with it. So we will have to exit, I suppose. There we go. Have to exit and then move forward. The Imperial Road is watched ceaselessly by guards who may recognize your bare face. Better stay safe. All right, so that means that I should probably go upwards instead. There's the water mill. Have we gone into the water mill? Uh, no, we haven't. Sofat is here. Okay, or Sofat. I don't know how to say his name. Okay, he's wearing a flowered tunic. Okay, let's have a look. Why has the mill stopped? 
It has ceased, and I'm all out of grease. What with the weather and that imperial visit? Is there anything else you could use? Well, something slippery for sure. Okay, that means okay. So that means that we need to we, we need to fix it. We need to fix it some, somehow. So let's go into the living room. <laughs> That's probably not the best idea, is it? No, let's not go there. Let's go out into the wheat field. Okay, so rows of wheat. Uh, they contain wheat seeds. I'm going to take some wheat seeds just in case. You never know when something's going to be useful. There's an oat field as well, and there's a slaughterhouse. Okay, apprentice butcher is wetting his knives. A cow is standing in the corner in the pen. All right, we can talk to him and we can see what he says. Hi, I'm looking for supplies for our travels. Of course, Lesia. I could certainly find a morsel for you and your dad. Can you just do me a favor? How can I help? If you could fetch me a bucket of water from the backyard, I'm a bit busy right now. All right, so wait a minute, wait a minute. A bucket of water. Does he have a bucket available? From the backyard. There is a bucket. There we go. Take the bucket. There's also a cleaver here. I'm going to take that too. You never know when you could use a weapon. And a round well. It contains fresh water. Let's get some fresh water. It runs through your fingers. Okay, well, what we want to do is we want to use the bucket, of course. So let's hold this. Get the bucket. No? Okay. Use the bucket on this. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm not understanding the, uh, the way... Ah, fill. Fill the bucket with water. Can I... Water. There we go. Okay. Didn't understand the interface. My bad. That is completely on me. As you plunge the bucket in the well, you hear Orson shuffling towards the door to the backyard and locking it up before you get a chance to react. After a few seconds, you hear him calling the guards in the street, and a shiver runs down your spine. It takes far too short a time for the guards to come barging through the door. Orson is directly on their trail. Okay. Well, that's not very good. He did really well in hiding how much he despised you. Okay, so he hates us. That's not very nice of him. And a pair of experienced guards. Okay, so they have dented chainmail and a long torch. They both look aged like anybody beyond 30 would look for you. In their eyes, you see intensity and gravity. What is the meaning of this? I'm going to say. So you are the candle maker's daughter. I have to admit that I am. I most definitely am not. Hmm. I'm going to say, I most definitely am not. Even if you are not, Orson would not have warned us without cause. Orson would say anything to harm my family. Come with us, we'll sort this out. You start following the guards with a, with a distinct feeling that they have something to tell you. The guards walk east, east, south, and south. Okay, I'm a bit worried about this. This is, this is not so good. A pair of experienced guards is watching you intently as we walk. Okay, where are we going? Oh no, we're going over to a place which I have not gone to before. The guards say, All right, this is far enough. You probably have some questions. All right, let's 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 speak to them. Oh, apparently the expression has softened. You see that? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so wait a minute. Um, why am I here, I'm going to say? We wanted to give you a piece of advice. What did you want to tell me? As the seasons become crazy, the Empress and her Aelic Council rely more than ever on eye breeds, reaping them beyond the usual Aesium tests, making them making more of them slaves. But we can fight this. What could we do then? Some of us, the hidden eyes, work to change the people's opinion and sway the Empress. If you want to help, show this token to old Leos around her fields. Good luck. The guards leave. And there we go. We've now gotten another little thing here from our di diary. We've got a huge amount of different quests that we can do as well. So, the guards were not in agreement with the enrollment of eye breeds. They gave me a brooch to show to Leos in the fields. Okay, so in the fields, right here? No. Mm, there's a gardening shed here. Could be useful. Can't push it, obviously. I was hoping to be able to push open the... Uh, well... Push open the door, potentially. By the lone oak. The oak itself provides a reminiscence of a time before the city. Let's go back down over here. Okay, so sh so wait. So wh where do I need to go? I probably need to go over to the right. You lose yourself on the way. Right, okay. Well, I could go over here. No, can't do that. Can go downwards. Can't go to the right. No, can't go to the right at all. So that's going to be a bit problematic. Okay, yeah, we can't go that way either. 
Okay, what about down here? Can we go through here? No, we can't. Okay, so we're just going to go this way. So which which field are we talking about? Wait, a silver mark I just found. A silver mark must have fallen out of someone uh, someone else's pocket. There we go. I got one coin. <laughs> one coin. Ah, isn't that your best friend? Oh, the statue of a handsome traveler. Okay. You never tire of looking at this representation of the man who allegedly went to the greater Sangriff and brought back countless riches to Norwood. Isn't that your best friend Gilas? Sitting, or Gylas? I think it's, his name's Gylas probably. Sitting idly on the cobblestones. There is no mistaking the black curls and olive skin of the baker's prime. He is wearing a worn and patched tunic. Let's talk to him. The sentry came. Teneth's hands? Who could have told him? I never told anyone. Looks around suspiciously. We should not discuss this too openly. Meet me at our tree. I could use your help with something. Rushes out to the lone oak that you both love to climb. All right, well, I'm going to go into the field because I want to speak to Leos um, pretty badly, I think. There's a destroyed cabin over here as well. Okay, there's a cabin along the river. Can't do much with that. The wall, can't do much with that either. Let's go into the potato field. Ah, Leos is toiling here. Fantastic. Leos is for you a topic of legends. She comes from beyond the shield mountains and the Lorassian border, but does not dwell much upon her past. She is wearing a worn and colorful tunic. Uh, can I speak to her? Oh, she walked east. There we go. She's toiling here now. I can't speak to her for some reason. Um, hand, ah, here we go. Use this. On Leoz. There. A glint of surprise alights Leoz's eyes as she looks at the token. So you would help us? It is very kind of you. So let's talk to her now. Who are you? We like to go by the name of Hidden Eyes. We think that with time and leverage, we could offer more freedom for people such as us. How can I help? I have not seen you often in the Tanner's Quarter. There is a task for you there. What is the task? I have heard of strange meetings on the beach in the depths of night. I would be intrigued to know who Adamin is seeing so secretly. And she has nothing to say now. There we go. She has nothing more to say. And Adamin meets a mysterious figure every night. With my talent, I may be able to see who she is. Because, of course, we can make ourselves invisible. Bear that in mind. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I am absolutely loving this game. This is so incredibly cool. Very, very big old school RPG. Old school sort of like dungeon crawler vibes. Where you have to use your brain. Which is very difficult for me most of the time. But yes, you have to use your brain to combine these various things so for example as you saw before you need to take the you know the bucket in your hand and you need to combine that with the water otherwise you can't do anything with it and that is absolutely wonderful it has a charming charming quality about it and i'd highly recommend checking it out escape from norwood right now available on steam if you want to check it out there is a link in the description i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time